Charles has been taking shots at me for, seriously, 20 years. Okay, welcome to another MVP podcast. My name is Dale, and today we're talking about Skip Bayless sending a final warning to Charles Barkley. Okay, now if many of you had not known or do not know, all right, Charles Barkley has been bullying Skip Bayless. He's been, um, you know, taking shots at him at every chance that he could, he can take. All right, um, dating back to like 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 you know. 10, 20 years or something like that. Any chance he gets, he takes a shot at Skip Bayless. All right, here's just a few. What are you gonna do? But you can't even let me finish my opening monologue. Is everything good? Things starting out 2023 just as they ended 2022. Hey, 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 hey. I, I'm sick of you, man. What? I'm sick of you. What happened? You interrupted Ernie already. The first show of the year, you already interrupted him. Can he finish his monologue? Stop. Get in. Dig it in. Dig it. All right, here's another clip. And although I disagree with the tweet, uh, and, and uh, hopefully uh, Skip would take it down, but I didn't want it. Well, yes. Time out. Time out. I'm not going to take it down because okay. I stand by what I tweeted. Okay, so as you see, um, Charles Barkley does not like Skip Bayless at all. All right, and uh, Skip Bayless realizes this, and uh, most of the time he does not retaliate, he does not say anything about it. All right, but it appears that he's done with that. All right, check out this video. Charles has been taking shots at me for, seriously, 20 years. Uh, I never care about anybody taking shots at me unless that somebody repeatedly says on national TV he would like to kill me. I have never criticized Charles Barkley one time. I've never said anything personally about him. I, I've never had any kind of conversation with Charles Barkley and he wants to kill me. So this went on and on and on until my wife Ernestine and now her late great mother Evelyn got so increasingly angry about it. Finally, Ernestine says to me, well, how can a commentator of Charles Barkley's stature be allowed to continue to suggest that you deserve to die. I kept saying to Evelyn, her mom, and also to Ernestine, D don't pay any attention to this clown. Nobody takes him seriously. They just laugh at him, not with him. So it was a few months back, you might remember, right here on this podcast, I, I finally called out Charles Barkley for saying he wants to kill me. I challenged, I all but begged Charles to join me on this podcast no way will you ever do that. But I, I begged him to please come on here and explain to me exactly why I should be killed. So this was on Barstool's Spit and Chicklets podcast the other day. Barkley was asked if he ever had a problem with any reporter when he was playing. And his answer was, and I quote, I very seldom went after reporters. I go after Skip Bayless because I don't like him at all. He likes to F with me because I'm so sensitive. I assume Charles will keep taking his shots because now I will no longer turn the other cheek as I did for 20 years. I, I no longer will let him get away with slinging mud, whatever mud that he wants to sling. Here's the truth. Charles's favorite punching bag has finally had enough and when he punches, from this point on, as I just did, I will punch back. Okay, so um, it seems that that Skip, you know, has been influenced by his um, his girlfriend and and um, the girlfriend's mother. Okay, um, and they don't like what Charles Barkley, you know, has been saying about Skip. All right, and many people don't like it neither. Charles Barkley kind of seemed to take it like a joke. All right, and um, and many of his um, his co-hosts on TNT also they take it as a joke, you know, um, you know, ribbing Skip and get and Skip and making fun of Skip all the time. Okay, but it seems appears that you know Skip has had enough of that. Okay, so he's so now he's ready to retaliate. Um, 
Is it going to be Justin, you know, throwing insults back? Or is he going to, you know, uh, take it a step further and uh, go through the law, you know, and, and, and hit Charles Barkley where it counts, you know, in his pocket? Uh, we don't know. But we do know that he sent this threat out to Charles Barkley. And um, now it's Charles Barkley's chance, okay, to... You know to see what he's gonna do all right let's see the if Charles Barkley gets another opportunity to uh, to say something bad about Skip is he gonna do it all right is he gonna call Skip bluff and see what Skip is gonna do all right we all know that Skip now has his own show so um, anytime he wants to talk about Charles Barkley he can go on the show which I think appears uh, weekly or bi-weekly go on the show and talk about Charles Barkley or diss him or something like that or, or you know insult him roast him back all right if that's what he's gonna do so he has plenty of opportunity to do that all right so um, I don't think that I don't want I don't know if Charles Barkley has heard this yet but I'm sure once he gets word of it all right he's gonna laugh and uh, then he's gonna make the choice whether or not he's gonna take um, you know more shots at Skip at Skip Bayless and see what Skip Bayless is gonna do all right now um Personally, I think I think Skip Bill is going to retaliate at this time. <laughs> he seems like he's serious, and I, I'm, I'm here for all of that, also. All right, so uh, so we'll be following this story <laughs> and uh, just let's see if it gets the blows, okay? Which we know Charles Barkley will win, but uh, but if it's anything other than that, if something legal or or so, then we, we don't know what's going to happen. All right, so uh, so that's about it. So until next time.